Hello, this is Matthew Armstrong coming at you on day 13 of my polyphasic Udman sleep experiment. And uh, so I've just completed 12 full days, 12 full 24 periods. And I have to say, it's really quite remarkable. Um, I am you know, completely sharp, sharp, feel like sharp like a razor, um, really awake, um, no fogginess or anything at all. Just feel, feel good, feel good. Don't feel heaviness, feel light in my body. Um, and uh, I had two, two glitches along the way, two, two nights I, I, I overslept. But apart from that, I've really only had, I've had less than three hours sleep. Um, most nights throughout the last 13 days, it was only two nights that, that I overslept a bit. Um, so that I think is quite remarkable now, and to be feeling the way I am right now as well, uh, considering. And I have also been doing intense uh, physical training as well and I'm still getting results, still getting gains, still recovering fast and uh, not having any weakness, getting stronger each time. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not having an adverse effect on my health that's in any way noticeable and I'm pretty much uh, pretty intuitive, pretty in touch with my, my body and uh, the can be able to communicate with my body and, uh, you know, I don't feel any ill health effects whatsoever. Um, sure, I had to go through some sleep deprivation to get to this stage now to, to adjust to the, the 20 minute naps every four hours. And, but uh, that, that was really no, no big deal. And I do feel like I am uh, pretty much adjusted to it now. Um, one of the things that was tripping me up a bit was the nine o'clock nap in the evening. And I was getting to that nine o'clock nap and I was, I was able to sleep on all the other ones, but the nine o'clock one I wasn't able to. And then throughout the night, I was finding it tough throughout the night where I was getting really tired. And, uh, and last, last night was the first night that I had a really good uh, 20 minute nap on my nine o'clocker and I uh, woke up refreshed. And then throughout the night, I've been totally fine because of that. So I feel like I had a big breakthrough yesterday because yesterday morning it was, was really, really tough. Um, after I woke up from my five o'clock one, I had my five o'clock one, woke up from that, got up straight away, but was felt really really cold and um, couldn't warm myself up and really really tired as well and um, everything was just saying just get back in the bed curl up in bed warm yourself up you know you, you need to get warm but I know you know that is just it's just I just get into that point like I spoke about in a previous video you get into that threshold and you start hitting this this like ceiling and you're going down and down and you could think, oh, I, could, I can't get through that. And then you just go back down to where you were. But if you keep going at it, eventually you break through and then you're up to a new level. And so yesterday, going through that, where I just struggled through it really um, and uh, got through it. I was delirious really for a couple of hours, just trying to get through it, um, asleep on my feet almost. I had to stand up to keep myself from falling asleep. Um, but once I got through that, it seems like everything's just like changed now and I feel like I've, I've adjusted and every 20 minutes I go down, boom, I'm out having uh, you know, great dreams. Um, even as soon as I lie down and close my eyes, I start having visions, very colorful, very uh, exquisite things I'm seeing, um, like the insides of palaces and th things like that. So uh, things I haven't really experienced as much before. I've had a few like spiritual spirits where I've had visions like that, but now I'm having them pretty much uh, every time I, I close my eyes to have a nap. When I'm open, I don't have them when I'm wide awake, but when I lie down and close my eyes and start drifting off into sleep, I'm having these great visions and it's, it's uh, really nice. Um, well, one of the strategies that, that I put into place was to, after I overslept that a uh, few nights ago, was uh, because I was sleeping in the at night time, I was sleeping in the living room as not to wake up Victoria with my alarm clock at night, but then I end up sleeping in that night. So then the last few nights, I've been sleeping in the, the, the bedroom and having the alarm clock set on the other side of the room. So if I don't wake up and get out of bed, then she's going to wake up and she, she can kick me out. And so she's been really supportive with that. And it's been great because I, she hasn't actually needed to do it because as soon as I wake up, the first thing I think is, I don't want to disturb Victoria. You know, I want her to get her sleep. So I jump out of bed immediately, go and turn it off. And, uh, and then she, she knows that I'm not allowed to get back in the bed because that's one night I did do that. I just, it just slept, walk, got up, turned it off, went back in the bed without even realizing it. That's the night I slept in. Um, so that has actually really worked. That's really worked. 
And uh, another great strategy is to, especially during the night, that's when I was finding the hardest, you know, maybe three o'clock in the morning um, or then after my five o'clock one sometimes as well. Um, strategy to keep myself awake uh, was I'd either go for a walk uh, outside, go for a walk around the block, uh, get some fresh air, or the other one is have a shower. Um, and that's what I actually should have done yesterday morning, I'm thinking back, but I was too tired to even think of it, was if I would have jumped in the shower, it would have warmed me up and it would have woke me up. I didn't think of it at the time because I was so tired, but uh, that's, that's two strategies to wake yourself up if you're, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna be doing this, is uh, either go for a walk outside or have a shower, and uh, that just bing, you're, you're wide awake again and you're ready to go. So pretty amazing, coming up to two weeks doing it, and I do feel like I've uh, broke through to a new level, do feel like I've adapted to it, and uh, no ill health effects or fogginess in the brain or anything like that, um, physically feel fine, so it's, it's going well, it's going well. Um, one second. Okay. So one, one thing I'll say as well is um, what I've noticed through research looking at other people who've, been, who've attempted this and uh, not, not succeeded with the, the Uberman especially, these this last couple of nights I've been getting two hours um, in any 24 hour period, not sleeping more than two hours. Um, and that's, that's the Uberman, getting two hours sleep in any 24 hour period, 20 minutes every four hours. And I haven't found any, uh, very few people that have been successful with that. And I, I think one of, the, one of the reasons why, is what I can see, is that basically I haven't had a big enough reason why. It's just like, oh, let's see if this works, like curiosity. But it's, it's got to be more than curiosity. You, got, you have to have a bigger reason why and a reason to fill up the time because your, one of your reasons has to be more time. You, you want to have more time to, to do certain things. Um, and if you don't have something to fill that time with, something that, that excites you, inspires you, something that's bigger than, than you, something that's bigger than tiredness or any sort of discomfort or pain, then you're not, you're not going to do it long term. Your, your, your willpower is, is going to give up. You know? And that's what most people, after 11, 12 days, their willpower gives up and then they stop doing it. But if you have a big enough reason why, an, ex, an inspiring vision to move towards, then that's going to keep you going. Because, because what I see is when people don't do it, they say, well, I just got bored. I got bored and you know, I just had all this time in my hands and not to do with it. Of course, you know, why would that inspire you to stay up? And I even you know, felt it the other night myself, or yeah, last night, um, especially on the weekends, because on the weekends you think of time for rest, the time for you know, um, you know, sleeping, things like that. Um, so I was even thinking of myself, thinking, oh, it's the weekend, but I'm not having that, uh, that rest, that, that extra sleep that I might normally have. Um, that's kind of culturally ingrained in us, isn't it, to rest more on the weekends. Um, but uh, I broke through that as well, and I uh, feel happy that you know I don't need to sleep on the weekends. I get my 20 minute naps, and that's all I need. And that's what it seems that I do need right now. So we'll see how it goes uh, as we keep going down the line the next uh, weeks and uh, hopefully months ahead. We'll see how it, it all fares out. But uh, right now, um, I do feel quite excited that I, I got uh, past these 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 couple of weeks. I'm just nearing on 14 days now, nearing on two weeks, and uh, definitely broke broke through some. Uh, serious thresholds there and feeling good about it now um, because it's, uh, it, it's, it's, not, it's definitely not easy, it, it is tough but if you have a big enough reason why um, and there's something to occupy your time with um, that's going to um, excite you, inspire you and uh, you know, it's something bigger than tiredness or whatever, you know, that's what's going to keep you going more than anything um, and we can apply that to pretty much everything in life. So that's it. Uh, so I look forward to tuning, tuning in with you again in another couple of days to let you know how it's, how it's going and uh, how the, because um, that's what a lot of people say is the psychological effects after you get through the first initial couple of weeks of, uh, of adapting to, to, the, to it physically and getting your naps, then the psychological aspect of the, you know, the day never ends. You know, it's, it's like there, there, there isn't really no tomorrow, there's no yesterday, it's just this continuous thing and uh, that, that's, that can be tough for a lot of people to, to handle. So uh, I'm going to be reporting on that, see how that goes. Um, I think I'm going to be okay with it, but we shall see. And uh, I shall let you know. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember to subscribe and to share the videos and to um, 
um, comment and ask questions, whatever at all. It's all great. Okay, my name is Matthew Armstrong. Speak to you next time.